Give Michigan credit. Thought they played uh, really uh, physical today and played well. Put us in difficult positions, both offensively and de defensively. So uh, give give John and his uh, staff and his kids credit for that. Congrats to them on the win. We obviously, got to continue to work on a lot of things, and and we'll do that moving forward. What do you think happened with free throw shooting today? You know, I don't know. I don't know. We've obviously been a good free throw shooting team, um, and. Um, you know, I, I, don't, I think it was one of these games where we just didn't make ones that we normally make. It's a good question. You know, that's uh, always a hard one for coaches to understand sometimes why you shoot them well and why you struggle. But we obviously struggle from the line here. Thank you. I saw 14, saw 14 turnovers. Is there a, maybe a feeling that you beat yourself? No, no. I think you're Michigan credit. I don't, I don't, wouldn't, wouldn't say that at all. Uh, they obviously contributed to that. Um, so we got to do a better job handling the ball. But... Uh, I wouldn't say that at all. I'm give, give Michigan credit for making it difficult for us to run offense. Coach, a couple straight games with um, Bates D up not shooting well. Uh, are you concerned at all, or is that just uh, scouting reports catching up? Well, I think it's, he's been he's been really uh, obviously a focal point of, of the scouting reports since really. Sorry. Uh, since really midway through, uh, really midway through the season and uh, big Big Ten season, teams are being really physical. They're eating up his space and crawling up into him, and uh, um, you know putting their hands on him on drives and bodying him up on drives. And um, you know if that's the way that the game is going to be allowed to be played, uh, which clearly it is, then then he's got to do a better job adjusting to that. And, and playing through that physicality. But you know, I'm not worried about him. Perhaps there's some fatigue with a couple of missed free throws in there. He's played a lot of he's played a lot of minutes for us and carried a really heavy load. But uh, everybody has this time of year. So I'm sure he'll respond the right way. What did the team do defensively to get you guys trouble? Uh, they just, you know, they're a good defensive team for one. You look at their numbers, they're a good defensive team, but uh, uh, they just they forced our, our guards to make plays, crawled up into us, really pressured us, extended us, um, uh, and kind of did a little bit of what we did to them at our place. Uh, honestly, very, very similar um, in terms of what we did to them in the second half. And we handled it well at times, but, but not as well other times. And you got to make better plays with the ball. We'll try as coaches to put them in, in better position, but our guards have to make better decisions and, and make better plays with the ball. Coach, uh, Jordan Poole, to have a player like that score 12 points in the first half, how much of a factor was it today? He's a really good player. We knew that. You know, He's a really talented player, really talented freshman. As a matter of fact, we, we said going into the scouting report that he can be an X factor for him, and uh, uh, he's really gifted. Uh, I thought that watching him in, in game, really watching him throughout the season, he's just a really gifted freshman. Gonna have a heck of a career. You guys, a uh, three-point game in, in seven minutes to go, yeah. or ten minutes to go rather, and uh, you got it right where you wanted to get in position. And you went six minutes without a field goal. I, don't, I apologize if you already addressed that stretch, but just in, in your mind, were they speeding you up? Were they? You know, I think we probably missed a couple shots in there. I have to go back and look at it. I don't, I, I remember the stretch, but I don't remember the specifics of the stretch. You know, I'd have to look at it uh, and to try to figure out what exactly was that poor execution or was that. I do think we had an offensive rebound kick out maybe to Kata uh, for an open three. So I think there were some missed shots there. But again, I think I think we've got to continue to play through uh, physicality, and the guy that really does the best job of that is is Jay Sean. Uh, right now, and we've got to have more guys play through that and, and, and make smart, sound plays. And we got to we got to move the ball a little bit better too. Is Cam Williams having a tough transition getting back from uh, his suspension earlier in the year? Uh, you know, I don't know. You'd have to ask him. Um, he's, this was his second game back. Um, you know, I think that's. You know, I, I don't. I don't know. I, you know, guy guy sits out three games, probably a little bit rusty, but uh, hopefully we'll have time to get back and. Get into the flow of things here. You had said before this stretch of four games that you were concerned about your team's sort of spirit going through it, knowing you were going to face some some obstacles. How do you feel this? Where do you think this team is? I guess in that regard, right now, after two obstacles like this. I think we're fine. Yeah, I think we're fine. I think we'll, you know, it, listen. If if you're a college player and uh, 
you you go into a couple games on the road against good teams, and you expect it to be easy, or you you know you expect it to not to not expect uh, deal with some adversity. You know, we haven't had a whole lot of that throughout the Big Ten season, but everybody goes through that. So this is what we signed up for. That's what they signed up for when they played, signed up to play in the Big Ten. This is what we signed up for to coach in. So, golly, if we can't, you know, if this beats us down, shame on us. We've had a heck of a, heck of a start, and we got to figure out a way to just make steps towards playing better.